so the morning of the start of the one week wonder, we've got about 15 minutes. It's not on the clock yet, the clock hasn't started, but we've got 15 more minutes before the announcement of the official start of the one week wonder here at 2022 EAA Air Bridge. So we're about 15 minutes out from the official launch yeah. of the 2022 uh, One Week Wonder. Right. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm ready for Jack to kick this thing off and for that kit to get unpacked and hand all the parts over the wall and uh, get things going. Uh, we got a clear plan of what to do um, and uh, uh, we're just going to get people to work. Did you get any rest at all? Too exhausted to not sleep at this point. Too exhausted to <laughs> yeah. We're all looking forward to it because I can see everybody's here, ready to go. You got seven days on the clock up there. Yeah. Can you do it? Technically, do it? it's really more like six and a half. Is it? Oh, yeah, because okay. we have to be taxiing by two o'clock on Sunday. Awesome. So, if, as, you know, when the, when the clock strikes zero, Charlie's got to have that airworthiness certificate in his hand. And uh, it's come down to the wire before. So, uh, it's going to be a real well, how many people do you think ultimately end up pulling a rivet during this? You know, that's a, that's a good question. Um, uh, I have to, you know, just from experience looking at uh, the last one we did under, both wings are covered in signatures that they transferred over when it was painted. So, uh, you know, it's at least a couple hundred, I would imagine. If not more. So, I have to ask Charlie what, uh, what, what they typically have for the people who just walk up. Practice on the rivet boards and the top of it in the airplane. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to being here all week to uh, cover this. The organization and it's, it's getting so sophisticated and so much easier that this is a chance for people to come out and in one week see how it's done, participate in getting it done, and understanding the support system that we offer as an association to, to have you get one done. So this is going to be a great week for people to learn a lot more about this great Sonics airplane and the ability to build one in your, at your home. So let's get her going. And thank you to all the sponsors that are here who have made this all happen and the volunteers who are going to get it, get it done for us this week. So thank you for everybody.
is like the absolute best Christmas morning in July ever. suggestion is we put all the hardware back there so we have a table back there with hardware and rivets um, but again I appreciate everybody being here dedicating your time to this this is an awesome experience um, let's enjoy it um, myself and the rest of the Sonics team we're here to assist if you have any questions um, but please you know utilize us uh, we'll be bouncing around uh, just helping out but uh, again thank you and uh, let's get it organized and we'll we'll get going it's your favorite department, Corey. <laughs> Casey, sorry. Absolutely. Kind of get to play with all the fun stuff. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> should have been a non veiling. Yeah. Hard to believe they were They should have been a non veiling. Oh, yeah. Well, that's light enough. You can just pick it up by yourself, I think, right? Well, you if you had a better, it. yeah, if you had a good leg. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's done. yeah, you'll hear it. Now just pull and pull. That looks good right there. There you go, you're done. Yep. And that was nice and straight. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see the main thing you want to make sure of is that you can't get your fingernail under any of it. If we do a bad one, you'll know. It'll be cocked up and, and they're a pain to drill the stainless steel ones out. That's you don't you don't want to do it wrong. Okay. And no access required to the Nope, you don't even no okay. This is the only side you can pull around the actual hair. Yeah, you don't need to push push on it. <laughs> this guy's part, but it's sunny, so. <laughs> okay, so I hear you're you ready. All right, let me get a let me get some volunteers yeah, going I here. Get somebody else. <laughs> now make sure you're square this way and that way. Yeah, let's do that. We are partnering with great companies like Dynon Avionics at Dynon.com, AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com, Aviation Youth Magazine at AviationUSA.com, The Aviators Clinic at AviatorsClinic.com. Take a moment to go visit their websites at the links found below in the description of this video. And visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more.
All right, so it's now afternoon. Figured we'd pop in and do a bit of an update. It's like, I don't know, 4.30ish? Probably run until, what, 6? Yeah, about 6 o'clock. All right, Chris, so where are we at, or what are we working on at this table, at this stage of the build? Well, right now I'm working on uh, assembling canopy bills. It's a little early, but uh, it'll be good to have it done. Um, otherwise, we have wings going along really well. Um, fuselage is cooking along. It's doing okay, so, so you're one of the, the key, obviously, head project managers here, and you feel pretty good about the, the first day so far? I do. I feel really well. Everybody's clicking. Everybody's doing a really good job and working together well. So obviously, uh, today was more of opening the crate, opening the package, taking inventory. What was the kind of the goal for end of day one? Uh, really, we wanted to have the uh, the ribs on the wings, which were really close to that. We wanted to be close to having a fuselage together and start uh, assembling that and uh, drilling the fuselage floor um, and get most of the tail together. That's awesome. All right, we'll go over and check out the next station. Let's so move over to the next station, which is the uh, spar and rib. Uh, what do we got so far? So right now, we've created all the top ribs and bottom ribs that get attached to the spars. We're clicking them in place, we're up drilling all the holes, and then we have to go through and disassemble it, um, deburr all the holes, re it together, and then mark where we're, where we're at in our progress so that tomorrow we come in, we can rivet it all together. All right, so backing up just for a second, these came, and this kit comes from the factory with the spars already assembled, correct? Correct, that's right. So is there any deburring that you have to do before you uh, put them on here, or is it basically ready to clico? Yeah, so it'll be hard to see on your camera, but you can see there's some holes here that are pre-drilled where the ribs are supposed to go. Those are a much smaller hole. They're just a guide hole uh, for when you put the ribs together um, so that you get everything spaced out correctly. And you have to go, the end user will have to go through and, and up-drill those holes to the right size rivet. Okay, so obviously we've got different stations, many people doing different things. What is the goal for the end of the day? We're like 4.30ish today, probably work till about 6. What do you think you'll have done by the end of today? So the idea is with the wings, we want to at least get um, all the ribs uh, together and at least get the skin just kind of in place. Um, that'll get us prepped and ready to go for tomorrow. And then with the fuselage, we want to get the two fuselage halves together and get the bottom skin in place just again so we're ready to go for tomorrow and um, start assembly with the fuselage. Awesome. Well, thanks for the update. Yeah, thank you. All right, off to the next station. All right, Nick, so what are we building in this section of the One Week Wonder? Well, this section is the uh, lower seat pan that ties in the uh, rear spars from the wings. Okay. So when the wings come on, the rear spar will come into this portion here and a bolt goes through to hold it in place. And then this also acts as the lower seat pan for right behind the back side. Gotcha. So, so does this sub-assembly also come pre-drilled, pretty much ready to Clico? A large majority of it, yes. Yeah. Yep. It mostly just upsizing, deburring, and then riveting. Awesome. It looks like you're about ready to start riveting. About riveting now. I About two hours total on that piece of assembly. It's so not too bad. It goes pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. So what is your goal or what is the, uh, the group's goal for this sub-assembly for today? Because it's like 445 just to get it finished, get it pulled, the rivets pulled, and get it ready to roll for the next one. A lot of it, though, you'd, we'd, we rivet later. Okay. So once I get this top portion here done, we'll be ready to go. Awesome. I'll check in with you again later. Sounds good. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. So moving over to table, I've lost count on how many tables we got here. What do we build in this section here? This is the aft spar carry through. I'm, I don't know much about it. I'm just volunteering to learn a little bit more about the planes. OK, this is your first time working on an airplane? Uh, no, but uh, a RANS is a little different. Uh, the fuselage section is already welded, so. Is this your first time working on an airplane as well? Uh, no, I own a Sonics and I'm currently flying it. Awesome, awesome, okay. So is this an yeah, another part that comes already drilled and ready to Clico? This is drilled, we had to Clico it, now we're uh, countersinking the pieces for it. All right, thanks for the update. All right guys, so just a quick update at, at your table. What do we got going over here? What's, what are we building? These are the fuselage sides that are, I think, right next to the, it, it's the front fuselage. This is the firewall over here, and this attaches to the aft fuselage. We're just uh, getting all the, the, the longerons in, the, the gussets in. Right now we're up drilling. We put it in pilot holes, and now, once everything was right where it was supposed to be, now we drill them to the correct size. The next step will be to deburr everything, and then we'll we'll start riveting. Awesome. And each side is pretty much a mirror image of the other side? Or? 
except for small differences, yes. The uh, we're down there, in the, on the, against the wall, is the other one. So we got one left, one right, and they're primary, you know, basically mirror images of each other. Awesome. We'll check back with you guys in just a little bit. Thank you. All right, on to the next table. So what are we building over here? Uh, here we got the tail surfaces here for the uh, rudder vader. So it's a Y tail. So the surface acts up both as a rudder and an elevator. And uh, unlike a lot of the other parts, this one's not match hole drilled. Okay. So we're actually measuring out all the locations of the holes and we're effectively doing the, the match hole drilling ourselves. So is this the only part pretty much of the Sonox that isn't already pre-drilled and ready to go? Looks like it. Yeah, yeah it looks like they've done everything else. I, and I think it's probably because it's the tail kit that they give to people to learn how to build an airplane. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Now, one thing that was very unique, I know on the, the typical Sonox, not the YX, um, is that each surface is pretty much the same thing? Is that the same thing as the, the WX as well? Um, well, they're mirror images of each other. That's, that's what, what I mean. mean. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, once you get going on it, you just do a you know, back and forth template. Yeah. Well, very good. Thanks for the update. All right. Thanks for everything. All right, so what are we building at this table? So we're building the stabilizer that goes with the rudder vader. So once we get them together, then we'll put the, uh, the piano hinge together, and then we'll have a working tail component for the left and the right. So this is the left one right here that we're putting together. Nice, and again, this is one of those pieces you can just kind of take out of the box and start to click together? No, absolutely not. No, it takes a lot of drilling up, trying to get all the pieces fit together, and now we're getting ready to, to uh, uh, rudder... Uh, if it's all clicked together, we're going to be riveting tomorrow to put this piece together. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. I'll check in with you tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Thanks. All right. So moving over to not a table, but a hoist. Now, this is going to come a little bit later in the week, but just uh, pop in with Casey here. Casey's been on this pretty much, well, at least the morning. Uh, yeah, at least the morning. Off and on all day. So what, uh, in preparation, you guys literally opened this straight out of the crate from Rotax. What did you have to do to prepare it to be able to mount it to the airframe? Um, we haven't really done much, um, to, uh, and according to specialty stuff, all we did was we got a different wiring harness that's a little shorter so we don't have to coil it up in the uh, cowling area so we don't have a big piece of slack hanging around. Um, we did some sump changes, we went to a banjo bolt instead of an AN fitting. Um, drain the oil that you get from the test running at Rotax, we drain the coolant that you get from test running at Rotax. Um, did some mod uh, modifications to the water pump housing. We had to reorient some of the cooling pipes. And Is that specific to the Sonics installation? It's specific to the Sonics. Yeah, you have to you have to change the angle of the lower pipes on the wa on the water pump because they interfere with the bed mount. Where normally it would be in a ring mount, and you wouldn't have to change them. But it's it's no problem. So is this a good stopping point until you until the airframe is built and you can hang it and then you go on to something else? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang out here and we're gonna chain or mount it. Then we can start doing exhaust. We can start doing fuel lines. We can start doing coolant, our cooling system, our oil cooling system. Um, we're really kind of ahead <laughs> for now. Well, that's a good place to be for sure. These guys are working really hard. It looks like on the airframe side of things. Today is Monday, nearly end of day. Tomorrow will be day two, and I think we'll see a lot of big changes tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, we're definitely going to see some changes. Maybe we'll get the get something going with the motor mount itself, and maybe we'll see the motor not hanging but sitting. <laughs> awesome. We'll check in with you again tomorrow, Casey, when the airframe is more further along. Yeah, great. Thank you.